Friends and colleagues describe Barry Pollard as resolute, intelligent, and trustworthy. He possesses a mind that seems to never stop spinning. He could be a time management model for students across the nation. Neurosurgeon, cattleman, and business owner are just a few of the titles he wears. was born on a farm in Hennessy, Oklahoma. His father attended OSU, and the Pollard family followed cowboy athletics religiously. With a background in agriculture, Pollard felt OSU would be the natural choice to earn a degree in veterinary medicine. But after an unfortunate incident with a cow, he decided to focus instead on mammals with two feet instead of four hooves. Pollard's choice proved to be the best one. He graduated from OSU in 1973 with a degree in biochemistry and began a practice in neurosurgery in 1982. Dr. Pollard's work ethic is wonderful. His work ethic includes you don't leave until you're finished, everything that you do, you do right, and he expects the people around him to do the right thing and to do the best that they can. He is, he's very loyal. Uh, and he's very concerned about his patients. Neurosurgery is only one of his areas of interest. Pollard's keen mind saw value in combining his medical knowledge with his agricultural expertise to produce some of the most genetically sought after Angus in the United States. In 2005, he was named Mr. Oklahoma Angus. In addition to his medical practice and the Pollard Ranch, he's also one of the top John Deere dealers in the nation through his ownership of P&K equipment. And what I found is that Barry surrounds himself with really good people that he can count on. He tells them how he wants it done and, and, and he counts on them to do it because otherwise there's no way that you could practice surgery as, as long as he does every day and, and still maintain one of the top Angus herds in the country and, and still be uh, one of the largest John Deere dealers in the United States. Well, I think Barry's been able to, uh, to be successful in all the businesses that he's in is because, first of all, he's an extremely intelligent individual. And, and certainly, I think he's equally passionate about, uh, about all the, uh, the aspects of uh, uh, business that uh, he's involved with. Uh, he brings tremendous passion to those things and, and focus uh, and uh, just uh, uh, an outstanding uh, uh, laser uh, way of having attention on uh, what the situation is and uh, working through it. Pollard's passion extends to his deep roots in his alma mater. The university served as a starting point for his life's work, and he's not quick to forget the impact it's had on his success. OSU means so much to Dr. Pollard because it is his foundation. He, he went to school there. He uh, made close friendship, family ties there. Everybody needs a good foundation to start, and he got that there. He got uh, an education, he got stability, he got what he needed to go to medical school and to graduate and serve this community. To that end, Pollard wants today's students to know OSU is the place where their medical careers can begin. The Medical Cowboys Group is his brainchild and provides scholarships for young people to come to Oklahoma State for their undergraduate degrees. In return, the students must study some type of medicine. The success of this program has shined a spotlight on the university's pre-med degree program. The medical cowboys are extremely important to Dr. Pollard because it's like a legacy. He wants young people to get their start at OSU in that environment so that they can go out in the world and make a difference and, and make a difference in medicine. When Pollard is not multitasking professionally, he's volunteering his time and gifts to Oklahoma State University in the form of scholarships, service, and more. I nominate Barry Pollard because he is, to me, the ultimate cowboy. 
He always gives of everything that he's got of his work, his wisdom, and his wealth to Oklahoma State University, to the projects, whether they're, they're within the medical field or whether they're within uh, academics, whatever. The ask is, Barry is always there to lead the, the way. Uh, I always jokingly said that when I went off the foundation, Barry was one of the trustees that went on to replace me, and I always said that it took a brain surgeon to replace me. Turning problems into opportunities has Sir Pollard well over the years. His work ethic and focus continued to develop new opportunities for himself, his business ventures, and the university. Mike Berry is worthy of induction to the Hall of Fame because he carries uh, Oklahoma State in his mind and, and on his sleeve and in his heart all the time. And he carries that outward and he's a great advocate for, uh, for Oklahoma State. I think the induction to the Hall of Fame for Barry is, is a kind of a culmination of Oklahoma State University and, he, and Barry Pollard. Uh, it's, I, it's not something that Barry would have ever expected because he's not that type. He does not do things for honors, and that's why it's so great to honor somebody like that. Pollard's unending wisdom and dedication, along with his willingness to serve, are building a legacy worthy of recognition. Dr. Barry Pollard, 2017 Oklahoma State University Hall of Fame.